This message is for those who are in the eye of the storm. When everything all around you seems to like be disturbing your soul, okay? When things around you are falling apart, when it seems like just as you go over one storm, you know, you find yourself in the middle of three different storms, you know? And I want to speak this word because this is a word actually of encouragement. I want to encourage you in the Lord because, you know, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Okay, there are things that we have to face alone, much like the way God uses situations and circumstances to press us. Okay, to press us so much as right before we go from glory to glory okay and and god gave me this example okay jesus in the garden of gethsemane was pressed okay david when he was coming against his enemies he was pressed okay jesus himself you know asked the very disciples those that were closest to him okay could you sit for an hour and pray Okay, he went three times and three times they were not praying. They were sitting, you know, fall asleep. They fell asleep. Okay, and he was so pressed that drops of blood, the, the pressure that was on him, okay, was so great that it says that he was sweating blood. And that is a medical thing that does, that can happen when people are pressed like that. In that moment, Jesus was by himself. So, you know, what he asked Christ, what he asked the father was to let the cup pass and it's interesting that he would use the cup passing because that was a term okay in galilean tradition the way the groom would um present the 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 bride with an offer of um, marriage a marriage proposal was with a cup he will pass the cup of wine and this is why they had to be witnesses there because her acceptance and drinking of the wine indicated that she said yes not to the dress she said yes to the wedding she said yes to the marriage okay christ is the groom he he wants to pass the cup over to us which he did in the upper room when he spoke to the disciples okay he said drink of this cup this is my blood that was shed for you so here he is in the garden of gethsemane okay having to take up of that same cup okay and he asked the father could he pass this cup many of us when we're being pressed when when that we 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 have the opportunity to say yes if you're on this journey because many are called and few are chosen the the ones that god has chosen have chosen god in return because the bible in james i think one he says he prepares a crown for those who love him okay god says he prepares a crown for those who love him okay so i'm talking about those those who not only God chose, but that chooses choose God and choose His life, they choose to lay down their life for the for for Christ. Okay, we lay down our life and we take up of this cup, this bitter cup at times. Okay, so we know that in this we're gonna we're gonna come against a lot of opposition, but God uses those oppositions to increase number one your faith and number two from take you to from glory to glory okay and it, it's not pretty okay jesus himself asked to let this cup pass if there are an, is there another way okay that's why one of the temptations when jesus was in the wilderness being tempted by the devil was you know i'll give you all these things i he took him to the mountaintop show him all jerusalem i give it all to you if you bow down okay but we cannot bow down to anything but the most high okay we those who who save their life will lose it and those who lose their life for my sake will find it okay but finding our life for for his sake we have to forsake everybody in matthew 19 29 the ones that that god says that he will give them i don't know how many foes i know is a is a multitude of foes and we will inherit eternal life is those who 
who will give up everything, okay? If if your if this causes you to lose your 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 calling on this earth, you you have to give it up. It hurts, y'all. It hurts. This this walk, man. This walk ain't for the weak. This ain't this walk ain't for the feeble. Okay, it's for those who endure to the end. Okay, we're coming up on. The Garden of Gethsemane was right before the persecution of Christ, okay? But keep in mind that the persecution of Christ was preceded with the victory that he won once and for all. It is finished, okay? So if you're going through trials and tribulations, you know, we all for short, okay? But God is the one that restores us from glory to glory. The glory that he shares with no one, he shares to, with those who are one with Christ Jesus, okay? That's the only time in the word that you hear that God shares his glory. He shares with glory with none other than with those who are joint heirs with Christ Jesus, okay? So be encouraged, be of good cheer, okay? God has not forgotten you. You are here. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Okay, going through all these trials and 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 you know all these things that are pressing. Okay, this is to strengthen your faith because God has to prune us. He has to rid us of all everything, everything that will hold us back. Okay, and fear is one thing that will always hold us back. Okay, because. It says in, in the word that those who fear have not been made perfected in love because perfect love casts out all fear, okay? So the things that, you know, in Job, he said that that which I fear has come upon me because God was going to elevate him to a level that he had no idea how good his ladder was going to be greater than his beginnings, okay? So this is why we must keep our eyes on the prize, okay and our prize is not of this world we don't store riches in this world we're not we're in the world but we're not of it okay so we're only sojourning in this um on this realm okay this is not our home never forget that keep your eyes on the prize and be encouraged in the lord because in your weakness he is made strong be blessed